In this tutorial, I will show you how to change or add to the predefined text series that are in Excel and that work with the autofill handle. In a previous video that I made called Excel's Autofill Handle in Depth, I showed you how to type in, let's say, Monday, click on Monday, and use the autofill handle to click and drag down, and notice what happened. Excel produced a series in the spreadsheet. Monday through Sunday, and then it repeated. It can work similarly for months and for other things as well. Let's try Jan for January. But one of my viewers named Paul contacted me and pointed out that there's yet another way that you can use the autofill handle. If you click on the File tab in the upper left, you can go down to Options and Advanced, and then go down to the very bottom of the list of options. And you'll see that there's a General section, and one of the things that you can change in the General section is you can edit custom lists. It says Create lists for use in sorts and fill sequences. So I'll click Edit Custom List, and you can see it comes with a few predetermined custom lists that will work with the autofill handle. Well, I would like to create my own new list. Maybe instead of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., I'd like to do that in Spanish. I should also put in the accents, of course. Okay, so there we have the days of the week in Spanish. So now that I've got that whole list entered, I can just click OK, and let's try it out. I'll click OK again, click on the screen, and I'll put lunes. Click on it, use the autofill handle, and I could click and drag and pull it all the way down to use the autofill handle, or if there's data already to the left or right of your autofill handle, you can just double click on the fill handle and it will extend it to the same degree, to the same length as that data that's just adjacent to it. Jumping back into the options, once you get into options, you have to go to advanced and then edit custom list at the bottom of that list of options. There, I now have a custom list. I don't really need that list, so I'll go ahead and delete it. Click OK. And notice that you can also import items into one of these lists. For example, from your spreadsheet. So you could type out on your spreadsheet a series that you would like to save in custom lists. And then you could click here to select that, click here again, and then click import. In this case, I don't really need to do that, so I'll delete it out. So using this method, you could put in just about anything you want into a new list, a custom list, that will work with Excel's autofill handle. And just click OK, click OK again, and you're good to go to use that custom list. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below. And I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting my channel.